Hello everybody out there. So I've been getting quite a lot of video requests lately and I've really been wanting to film them. So today's topic is menstrual cramps and how to manage and reduce them naturally. If there's anyone who can relate to really bad cramps, it's myself. I've dealt with some really, really, really bad painful cramps over the years. I've had cramps that radiate into my thighs. Like it's like Literally, I'm like, what does my thigh have anything to do with with my uterus? They've definitely improved as I've gotten older and also after I've incorporated into my life some of the tips that I'm going to share with you guys today. That There are so many factors that contribute to bad cramps. The major ones being bowel or liver toxicity, especially due to excess estrogens or hormonal imbalances, um, stress. Today I'm going to keep things really, really simple. I don't want to overcomplicate it, so I'm just going to focus on some very basic, easy to grasp solutions. My first tip is magnesium, and I love magnesium because it is a muscle relaxant. So a lot of women find that it is quite effective to help ease cramps and ease those uterine contractions. Not only just menstrual cramps, but any sort of muscle tension or cramping anywhere in the body it's really useful for. I also love magnesium because it's very anti-stress as well. You can take magnesium in powder form, you can take it in pill form, you can take it in liquid, you can soak in Epsom salt baths. A really popular option is natural calm. These are just little sample sizes, but it does come in larger tubs. You mix with hot water and you'll just drink it. So you can just put it in a, a mug and drink it in the evening. It's really nice and in that way it'll help to just relax muscles. You can also take magnesium as a supplement and a good starting dose is anywhere from one to 200 milligrams. But of course, speak with your natural healthcare practitioner for more specific doses. But about 100 milligrams is a good dose to start with. tip is raspberry leaf tea. You can also take it as a tincture, but I love raspberry leaf. It's one of my favorite herbs on the planet, and that's because it is so great for women's health. It's so great for our reproductive system. It actually acts as a uterine tonic, so it's really, really good for cramps and just women's health in general. Um, I have here by Traditional Medicinals Raspberry Leaf Tea. This is one of my favorites. Try drinking one to two cups a day, a minimum of one week leading up to your period, and see how that makes you feel. tip is maca and maca is a very very comprehensive root vegetable in the way of supporting and modulating our energy and our stress levels it's really great for sexual health and most importantly it's really good for balancing our hormones it's also rich in B vitamins especially vitamin B6 which helps to increase our livers ability to metabolize excess estrogens and things like that it's also rich in niacin or vitamin B3 which is good to increase circulation I actually made a video not too long ago on all of the health benefits in the use of maca so I'm gonna leave that link below for you guys to check out if you want to know some more info on maca and how it works in the body my fourth tip is turmeric and turmeric is one of nature's most healing anti-inflammatory foods the active ingredient found in turmeric is known as curcumin it's a potent antioxidant and turmeric all in all helps as well with liver detoxification you can take turmeric or curcumin in capsule form or of course like this you can add it to your food you can make a really nice golden milk as it's called it's very versatile try incorporating turmeric into your daily life and adding it to foods it's really easy to use One food that we want to try and reduce is dairy and that's because dairy is very pro-inflammatory. It's also more mucus forming and it can actually impair magnesium uptake in the body and magnesium is something that we want lots of especially if we're experiencing cramping. Dairy is just one of those things that we want to try and reduce and not eat too much of. So those are all the tips that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope they were helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment below if there's anything else you guys have to recommend for other girls out there who are experiencing really bad cramps. We can all just chime in and just share some tips. It'll be fun. It'll be so exciting and fun. Periods are great. Hope you guys have a lovely day. I will see you later.